Hello my dear students, I am Dr. Alok Gupta. We are going to discuss in this video a very important topic and interesting too of cost accounting. The name of the topic is overtime wages. In this particular video, we are going to discuss the concept of overtime and overtime wages, the necessity or causes of overtime, demerits or disadvantages of overtime and what should be the controlling measures of overtime. So this is our plan of discussion. What is the concept of overtime? Work done by a worker beyond the normal working hours is called overtime. That means if your normal working hour is 8 hours suppose and you have worked for 10 hours in the workshop or factory or in your working place then the extra over the normal working hours that is 10 minus 8 in the given example that is 2 hours will be called overtime. So, overtime in this rel in this context it is relevant to ma mention that overtime may be a case in normal working days on normal working days suppose the uh, you have to a worker have has to work beyond the normal working hour then it will also be called over it overtime in addition if he is working if he is asked to work on holidays then also it will be called overtime because it is beyond the normal working hours. Now the rates of working on holidays and the rates of overtime on a normal working day may differ. Now this rate portion and the treatment of that we will discuss in the next video. Now what is overtime wage? Overtime wage is Wages for overtime hours worked is called overtime wage. Wages for overtime hours worked is called overtime wage. That means now whether it is normal wage rate or something else. Normal wage rate and overtime wage there must be some difference. Overtime wage should be or must be greater than or higher than the normal wage the normal wage rate suppose suppose the normal wage rate if it is 30 overtime wage should be more than 30 if it is per hour wage rate is 30 normal then overtime wage rate may be 35 40 45 50 whatever but it should be more than 30 as per the indian factories act 1948 it is said that a worker is treated as uh, as worked overtime or for overtime if he actually worked for more than 9 hours in a day or for more than 48 hours in a week. That means if a worker is asked to work for more than 9 hours in a day, this 9 hours includes recess, then it will be called overtime as per the Indian Factories Act 1948 and if he is asked to work for more than 48 hours in a week in total then also it will be called overtime and as per the factories act it is mentioned that the rate of overtime wage should be twice the normal wage rate now twice the normal wage rate is not always followed in all the concerns but definitely it should be more than the normal wage rate so what we have discussed overtime wage should be more than normal wage and this extra payment over the normal wage is called overtime premium. This extra payment over the normal wage for the overtime hours definitely will be called overtime premium. Take an example. If the question is given in your exam what do you mean by overtime wage and if the marks allotted is uh, suppose 2 marks or 3 marks then you should give an example also what is uh, suppose the normal wage rate is 30 per hour overtime hours worked by an worker in a uh, in a month suppose 40 hours 
so 30 hours third rupees 30 per hour is the normal wage rate whereas overtime hours worked is 40 hours so in this case the if it it would have been paid at normal wage rate then 30 into 40 that is 1200 would have been the wage but as we have discussed normal wage and overtime wage or normal wage rate and overtime uh, wage rate are different suppose in this case it is 50 that is over normal wage rate 50 and 30 there is a difference 50 is overtime wage rate so in this case overtime wage will be rupees 50 per hour into 40 hours so it will be rupees 2000 of which we can understand that 1200 that is 30 into 40 will be normal wage portion and over it or above it 800 is paid to the worker as overtime premium or for the overtime hours worked okay so this is the difference now if it is more if we have to pay more than the normal wage rate what is the necessity of uh, allowing a worker to work overtime there are certain situations or special circumstances or requirements in which it becomes necessary to tell a worker to work overtime. Some of the situations, common situations are temporary increase in volume of work due to sudden increase in market demand. Suppose the market demand has increased temporarily. My product has become popular or due to some particular order the market demand has increased some trend in the market uh, my product products demand has increased in the market temporarily to meet the demand the workers may have to work overtime next reason may be seasonal increase in demand that is volume of work in case of seasonal products seasonal increase in demand we know in case of seasonal products like suppose sweater sweater is a seasonal product in case of plain lands at least uh, so in this case for two three months or in the puja month uh, the in demand for sari or other ready-made garments increases in this case also the factory owner may ask the workers to work overtime so in this case the volume to meet the increased demand or to meet the volume of work increased volume of work seasonally the workers may have to work overtime so it becomes a necessity in that case other reasons may be if it is essential to complete certain job or jobs within a specified period as per the managerial decision or to meet the customer order that means suppose a customer has given me uh, an order that he wants a supply particular supply on tomorrow or day after tomorrow which is not possible to supply for me if my workers work in normal working hours only in that case i may ask my workers to work overtime because i don't want to lose the demand or customer in that case uh, i uh, to supply the products i may have to ask my workers to work overtime and the uh, it may also be said as per some other managerial decisions they may have to work overtime to complete the certain product or production within a specified period of time the next reason may be or necessity may be when excess production is to be made to avoid loss of perishable raw materials suppose in some cases we have our raw nature of our raw material is perishable like milk in case of milk products it is a raw material of milk products like cheese ice cream paneer dahi etc in case in this case if my raw material that is milk if it is uh, uh, abundant in supply if it is uh, it may um, be perished if it is not used within a certain time then i may have to tell my workers to work overtime to complete uh, to use the raw materials for making up loss of time due to lock up strike heavy machine breakdown or for some other abnormal reason if 
suppose due to lock up strike or heavy machine breakdown the normal working hour was disrupted and definitely the production could not be made or it could not be normally made within the normal working hours in that case also to meet the market demand to meet the order of the customers deadline i may have to tell my workers to work overtime next reason may be suppose some workers have been retrenched and the normal production is to be carried out by the existing workers till the new workers are appointed in that case also that means if some workers have uh, been retrenched or laid off and the existing workers are less than the normal workers in that case to meet or continue production the existing workers may have to continue working over time till the new workers are appointed so these are the causes or necessity of overtime now what are the disadvantages of overtime or demerits of overtime definitely one of the common demerits we have understood from our previous discussion that overtime rate is more than normal rate of wage in this case definitely first demerit or prime demerit will be it will increase our cost of production due to overtime premium definitely if my normal wage rate as per our example is suppose 30 per hour and my overtime wage rate is 50 per hour so if my workers produce the product in overtime uh, uh, that is beyond normal working hour in that case the cost of production will increase and some other incidental costs are also responsible for increasing the cost of production like depreciation of the machinery is increase maintenance of the machinery is may increase due to heavy pressure on the machinery is and giving less rest to the machinery is in this case also incidental costs also add up to the cost of production so this is one of the prime disadvantages of overtime then decrease in productivity due to fatigue of workers the workers may become tired their normal skill their normal efficiency their normal um, zeal to work that may become less for continuously working after normal working hours also so it is human nature that if you work continuously generally fatigue will cause your productivity to become low so this is a major disadvantage and definitely the same thing will lead to lower productivity or lower quality of product your quality of product will also be hampered or impacted adversely due to the fatigue of workers then the health of workers and machinery will have adverse impact due to overtime so these are the major points of or of disadvantages of overtime or demerits of overtime now what measures or steps we should take for controlling overtime definitely we have understood that overtime has some demerits certain demerits and we should not normally allow the workers to work overtime so we should adopt some measures to have some control over overtime first point first measure that we should fix some proper standard to avoid bottlenecks as far as possible after time study motion study etc that means i must understand how much order can be supplied by my normal workers or by my normal infrastructural limitations if there is proper planning then definitely overtime should not be a normal feature so proper standard should be fixed so that it can be avoided permission of overtime may be given only by an appropriate authority after careful analysis of the situation overtime permission can be given only by an appropriate authority workers themselves themselves should not be in a position to decide that okay i will work overtime and complete my work if they are allowed to do so then definitely they will try to do so mostly because they know that overtime wage rate will be higher plus they are getting it in addition to their normal wage of the day so 
permission should only be given by appropriate authority after careful analysis of the situation or reason of working overtime okay this will have a check on the situation or on the tendency next point strict supervision of work to reduce tendency of intentionally slowing down of regular work by workers that means workers the point that i have just now discussed workers may intentionally slow down their regular work or normal working hour work so that they will be allowed to work overtime to get extra money this should be restricted through strict supervision of work in addition the workers should be educated about the impact of their additional wages on the profitability and market of the product if workers are educated properly they are convinced properly that the additional wages they are earning is may be good for them in short run for their personal interest but that will definitely impact adversely the profitability of the concern or that will impact adversely the market of the product by increasing the price of the product so they should understand that if they continue to do so intentionally by slowing down their work then that will impact the organization's health and that may lead to um, loss or closing down of the organization also next point maintenance or next measure should be maintenance of the machines should be improved to avoid loss of time due to breakdown leading to overtime maintenance of the machine should be improved that means if machines are not properly maintained in that case breakdown will be a normal situation in normal working hour so to reduce the breakdown to reduce the working hour loss of working hour in the normal working down time maintenance of the machine should be improved so that it will not lead to overtime okay some other measures are fixing the maximum limit of overtime the limit of overtime may be some limit of overtime may be fixed by the appropriate authority that may be department wise limit that may be product wise limit okay so that will have some psychological limit also that workers will understand that this is the maximum limit of overtime we cannot do a, we cannot go beyond the maximum limit of overtime okay then formulation of overtime policy the overtime policy should be formulated properly overtime policy means it must be clear that in which situation you may be allowed to do overtime who is the proper authority who can allow you to work overtime what is the rate of overtime on normal working days or on holidays all these are mentioned in overtime policy if overtime policy is made clear that will also help to curb uh, the tendency to work overtime next point appointment of workers in case of shortage now if worker is less and it becomes regular feature of the organization of uh, or, or for the workers to tell them to work continuously so it becomes it is very much clear that some extra or additional workers if they are appointed then they can work in normal working hour all the workers can work in normal working hours and they can complete the work that will definitely avoid the extra charge that is overtime premium so if it is it becomes a regular feature it is not a seasonal demand it is not a temporary increase in demand then some extra workers or additional workers should be appointed next point may be payroll should be verified or analyzed regularly the payroll that is payment of wage the details are given in payroll the payroll should be analyzed properly regularly to check which worker has earned how much through normal wage rate or through overtime wage so that will help to identify who is who has the tendency to work overtime more and if it was needed whether it was needed if it needed how much was needed actually so payroll should be properly regularly verified and analyzed so that it will have a controlling impact on the uh, overtime wage 
then productivity of overtime should be evaluated analyzed and evaluated and report must be submitted periodically to the appropriate authority to have check on the overtime that means overtime productivity and normal productivity should be compared if i do this i can understand whether the productivity during the overtime hours is reducing if it is reducing significantly then we must think that whether overtime is a good option or we should go for the next day's production okay so productivity of overtime should be evaluated properly and it should be compared with the normal working hour productivity next point is measures should be taken to improve efficiency of workers through training etc efficiency of workers should be improved through training or skill development programs if their efficiency increases then it is definitely expected that they will work uh, better and they will work more in their normal working hour they can they will be able to complete their work in a better way within the normal working hour and that will avoid working them in overtime okay so these are the general measures of uh, controlling overtime I hope you have liked this video and if you want to know the next important very much important area of this topic that is treatment of overtime wage in cost accounting you must watch our next video thank you very much